Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be doing a warn command tutorial. This is uh, one out of the many tutorials that I'm planning to be doing on this series with my warn system that I coded recently. So that I don't have to make one that's like an hour and a half. So yeah, so this video should be like roughly like 20 minutes. I'll try and make it less by like not using insane, insanely long functions and instead just copying and pasting them for example. But um, yeah, so let's get started. So number one, the most important part of this is that you follow Warn Off Keys tutorial on how to set up MongoDB because I personally do not want to make a tutorial on it and he, there's already one out there so I don't really see a point in it. So I'll leave his video in the description and make sure that you check it out and watch it because you're going to need MongoDB to be connected so that you can actually um, do this uh, warning system that I have. Okay, so once you've done that, and you've come back and you've got your mongo.js file and everything, uh, one thing that he didn't add that I think would be useful is use find and modify as false. And that's about it, and everything else sh uh, should be good. And what you should do is go click, click here, like in this black area, and then um, you're going to create a new folder and call it schema or schemas or whatever. And then you're going to create a new file called warn schema and you're just going to copy down everything that I have here. And this will basically be like the framework for the different things that are going to be logging into the database. So, um, yeah, that's about it for the preparation for the command. Uh, so we're just going to be using our old warn command, but we're just going to add some new stuff to it. Um, but the next commands are just going to be completely new and you won't have anything written for it yet because we didn't do a tutorial but we've done a tutorial on warn command just without the database okay so enough talking and let's actually get to the video so you're obviously going to want to define mongo which is your mongo file so you can connect to mongodb define your warn schema and also um here so let's go to new terminal do mpmi random string so that you can generate punishment ids using that instead of having to use an extra long function um but yeah once you've done that and defined everything that you need to we can actually start doing some new stuff so const punishment or i cannot spell right now punishment id is equal to random string dot generate and this will be the length mine is going to be 20 now we are going to define our punishment array, punishment ID, and then you can add an E or whatever, it doesn't really matter, is an array that consists of the punishment ID. Okay, so once you're done with that, end of new stuff as I've written in comments here, and then this is gonna be the new area where we're going to be editing code. So we're going to create a simple function that's going to be changing like a time, like hours and minutes into an AM PM format. You can find one of these on Google or like Stack Overflow or something. That's where I found mine, but I'm not sure if I actually have this copied and pasted. Let me check. Uh, no, I do not. So, okay, I guess I'll just write it. So let's create a new function. Let's call it uh, format AM PM am pm and the main thing in here is going to be date which is we're going to define that later when we're using the function so now let's just define these so for hours for minutes for am pm um min wait no yeah we happen to do another one of these and then minutes and then after that, this is gonna be our actual string time. Bro, I cannot spell right now. Then I'm gonna return it. Okay, so now let's actually assign things to here. Okay, that's good enough. So, so var hours is date. Which is one thing that we're, that's one thing that we're going to be inserting in the function when you use it. Dot get hours, and then also date. Dot get minutes for our minutes. 
and now am pm so the point of this is so the default one when you do the time when you what it formats it automatically to is like 2136 for example um like it uses military time and if you don't want that and you're an american then you can use am pm like me so let's quickly write this code because i want to get to the actual important stuff soon Okay, and then hours is hours divided by 12, and hours again is going to be a ternary. and then minutes, minutes, less than 10. My brother's playing some music in the background. I hope you can't hear because I turned on noise suppression. AM, PM. There we go. So I'm pretty sure that should be it for this function. Now let's define some useful things for MongoDB that we're going to be inserting. So we're going to define our guild ID, our user ID. Uh, also the author ID. So, oops. So the person that wrote the warning and then we're gonna get the date so today we'll continue date now we're gonna actually format all of our time together so today dot get month and then we're gonna add this by one because it starts from zero then you could add a slash word or a What's it called? Hyphen? I'm gonna add a slash, actually. Because I think it looks better. Then we're gonna get... Date, and then... Today dot get full year. You could also do get year, I'm pretty sure. And that will just do like 21, for example, instead of 2021. But I would like the full year. And then at, for example, and then we're gonna get our AM, PM. And then our new date. Okay, I hope I spelled everything right because I don't want to. Oh, yeah, let me do this. Forgot that I switched to slashes. Okay, now I think that's the end of all the new stuff that we have. Old stuff, old stuff, new object. Um, I think that was the warning info object or something. Yeah. This is a new object, and in here, our author ID. So we're going to do author ID, time, reason, punishment ID. So basically all the details of the actual warning. And then our user ID and guild ID will just be separate as actual values in the database instead of being kept in an object. It's the author ID. Um, we also want the time. And also punishment. ID would be the punishment punishment ID. Um also the reason as well. Okay, I think that's all the information that we need for now. End of object and then new stuff. End of new stuff with okay, I'm pretty sure this is the logging info. So let's quickly create a logging embed. I would recommend this. So follow along. Log channel is equal to message .build channels cache find. C dot name is equal to logs. And also let's define our embed log embed is equal to new discord message embed dot set color red dot set title 
a member was warned that set description um warning information displayed below for example now let's actually add fuels with the actual um information so let me just create a comment with the info so reason we so we need the reason punish and id um we also need the author um id user that was warned um what else do we need oh time um so we have the author the user on uh, the reason punishment id and the time I, th I think that should be it so now let's add fields with each of these information so actually let's do member warned first member warned and then let's format this So this here so this would ping the user with because we get the id and this will just be the raw user id and let's like put some formatting right here and then let's do like this um i think that looks pretty good you can also do the same thing for the worn author author or something author id and then do the same thing you could also ping um ping like a staff ping or something when this is sent um just to notify people when someone's warned or banned or something but i don't have a staff ping and i'm not gonna create one just for this video but i'm just saying that if you want to do it you can but yeah let's do the reason now. Um, so... Okay, let's add some formatting to it. And then also the time. So the time... And... I'm just not gonna add any formatting because I don't want to waste any time. I just want to get to the actual... DB part log channel dot send log embed. Okay, so now we've sent our logs and now we just have to do our database stuff. So let's connect to Mongo. We need Mongo dot wait Mongo dot then. Okay, async mongoose. Okay. Okay, so now. Let's do a try finally really quick so we can close the connection. Okay, and now let's do our actual warn data. So our warn data is gonna be an object that we are going to save to the DB. So guild ID is guild ID, user ID is user ID, our punishment ID is our punishment ID could also just put a comma right after it because Mongo will know what you're talking about if this is the same variable name uh, and then what else oh yeah the warning info the warning info okay so the warning info in our schema is an array of an object so let's put our object right here and that should be it I don't think we're missing anything here um, yeah, now we can just save this. Wait. New. Bro, I cannot spell. Schema dot. I know. Warn schema of warn data. And then after that, save. So we're just going to save this to the database. And yeah, so we're going to close the connection. And there's no more comments. So I'm going to assume that this is it. Yeah, so let's quickly restart our bot. 
and let's actually try this in discord so yeah i'll see you when i switch over to discord okay so we are back and i accidentally forgot to put commas in this embed field here so make sure you do that before you actually test because you're going to get an error that says member warned or warn author or something it's not a function so um yeah let me start my bot again and i'll see you in discord Okay, so we're in Discord right now, and let's actually warn my friend now. So, warn at Sam Cambridge, um, testing for vid. Okay, uh, we'll delete after five seconds. Five, four, three, two, yeah, okay. And then if we go to logs, this is what it actually shows. I could have formatted this time here, and it would look better, but it's fine and um yeah so we have our logs and now all that's left is to actually check if it logged to the database itself and we can do that with mongo compass so once i connect to it and um find the warning info then i'll show it to you so yeah i'll cut to that okay so we're back in mongodb compass and as you can see we have our information here so our punishment IDE is an array, and this is the punishment ID that we got when we warned my friend. And um, we also have my author ID, time, punishment ID, and reason from the object. And we have the guild ID and my friend's um, ID as well. So that just shows that it logs to the database. And yeah, that's basically it just for this video here. Um, I'm going to be doing another video next time on checking IDs and maybe even clearing IDs if I have time. So yeah, make sure to stick around for that and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.